You can always turn to me. Oh, can I really count on you? You can count on me always. Oh, Bo. Me, Asa. Open up. Asa, I'm sorry, not respectable. When were you ever? Uh, Asa, I'm in my pajamas. You think I give a hoot what you're wearing? Give me a break. Just open the damn door. Ugh. Six. Whoa, 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 you're not kidding. What the hell happened to your face? It's called face cream. I just hope it works this time, be because it hasn't before, let me tell you. Ace, it's so nice to see you two. I'll tell Bo you stop by. No, no. I don't need Bo. I need you. Out of here. I'm in the student union with the concert tickets. Where are you? Are you going to buy them or not? Alexandra? Who's Alexandra? Is she hot? Yeah? Well, I don't know. Tell her to hurry up and get here. I'm going to go grab a soda. Bye. Oh, here we are. This place is amazing. I knew you'd like it. Thank you so much for driving me around the campus. Sure. I'm sure you have better things to do with your evening, like sit in front of an air conditioner. Uh, can you believe how hot it is? And here it is June. No, I had fun. Besides, I had an ulterior motive. Uh-oh. What's that? I wanted to get to know you better. After all, you are Tori's sister. A dubious distinction. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get to know you too, Nora. Hmm? Tori told me so much about you, and I, I couldn't wait to actually meet you. Do I live up to the reputation? Smart, funny, beautiful, talented. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, good a liar, too. I like that about you. <sighs> I was so worried that Tori would never be this happy with anyone again. Again? You mean I'm not the first woman in his life? doing here? I came to say goodbye. Goodbye? You going somewhere? To Hawaii. Oh, where are you going on vacation? No. I'm on the land. You're on the land? You mean like you're on the run? You got it. Really? Well, we have to hide out because my dad told a lie. A really, really bad lie. I almost forgot to tell you, you had a visitor before. What? Yeah. Who would come visit me? Dave. Dave? Yep. Dave came to visit me? Yes. What? 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 what what's the matter? I'm going to kill you! Oh! <laughs> Say something. Am I interrupting something? Where do you think you're going? Hey, you know what? I can keep an eye on her while she's in here. She'll be fine. I'll be right out here if you need me. Some people just don't know their place, you know? Uh, yeah, I, I do. So, you have a few problems at home, huh? Things aren't so good? Nope. What happened? Well, remember when I told my parents that you were on the wheel in the fun house and they thought that I was lying? How could I forget? Well, now they're lying and I'm being punished for it. 
You mean by dragging you off to Hawaii? No, that's the fun part. <laughs> yes, that is the fun part. So, why Hawaii? Well, because my dad lied to my mom. And my mom doesn't want to talk to my dad. Which I think is a lie, too, because I know she wants to. Okay, wait a minute. So, your mom's angry with your father because he lied. She's supposed to love him forever. And now we have to hit the road. Cool. Uh, Star, you know what? <laughs> what is it? It's a souvenir from my time in Africa. Africa? Mm -hmm. You were in Africa? Yeah, well, a long time ago. Did you get to see zebras and lions? I sure did. Oh, you're so lucky. Does this thing have any magical powers? Nope, afraid not. Lame. So, I guess this is goodbye. I guess this is, huh? I'm gonna miss you. I know. <clears throat> see you around? Yes, I will see you around. You be good. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Yeah, sure. I'm afraid my mom won't forgive my dad about his dumb lie. I mean, I can understand, but doesn't she know it's hard to always tell the truth? Yeah, but you should if it's at all possible. Do you always tell the truth? I'm sorry, I was kidding. Again. I mean, obviously, I know there have been other women in Troy's life. He's an adult. And he's smart, and he's funny, and he's easy on the eyes. And Should I be saying this to his sister? Oh, believe me, I've heard much worse. Oh. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. I, I think Troy's great, and so are you. Thank you. That means a lot to me. What is keeping your student mentor? Are you coming with us? Why in inhibit the free flow of student insights into Landview U? No, 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 no. I'm gonna wait here until you get back. If in you're the not, air conditioning. If you're not coming, you should just you should just go back to Troy. No, no, I'm gonna wait here. I'm fine. Come on. I feel bad enough. I barged in on you guys, un, you know, uninvited. Just go on back to Troy. No, absolutely. You were the best part of the whole evening. Your your surprise visit it was well, wonderful. If you stay, it'll make me feel guilty. Oh, for good. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello. So how's my favorite college girl? She's doing just fine. Oh, no, actually, I was talking about you. Oh, well, I'm doing fine, too. Are you back from your house call already? I am. Are you two heading back soon, or are you going to ditch me for a keg party? Oh, that's a thought. We'll be back as soon as Emily has her grand tour of Landview U. <laughs> no, what? try sooner. Hey, 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 hey. Troy, it's me. No, Nora's on her way back. Yeah, I, I, I can find my way home. I left a trail of breadcrumbs. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, thank you. Hello again. I should warn you, my sister's very stubborn. She's also the baby of the family, so she's used to getting her way. Yes, I'm beginning to see that. Well, it's probably best that you go along with her and head back here as soon as you can. Well, clearly, I'm outvoted. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Not soon enough. <laughs> All right, Miss MacGyver, you are officially on your own. Great. I'll see you later. Oh, you bet you will. Bye-bye. Okay, Alexandra, where are you? You made it. I did. Oh, thanks so much for doing this. Oh, it's my pleasure. Ready to get this over with? You bet. Great. Um, all I need from you, then, is the $200. $200? <gasps> Don't 
never lie to me about Dave. Um, ever. You think it's fun to no. tease me? I'll show you funny. I don't hear you laughing I'm now. I'm not lying. Dave was here. He was here to see you. Describe oh. him. Okay. Um, six feet tall. Good looking. <laughs> Go on. Um, brown hair, brown eyes. Nice smile. Very nice. Dave was really here? Yes. Could you let go of me? Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, that's one thing about me. I, I hate being lied to. <coughs> yes, I, I uh, can see that. I kind of lose it when people lie to me. <laughs> no kidding. But I'm, I'm not lying to you. I wouldn't lie to you, Allison. Good. Now, you're sure it was Dave and not Ben? Why do I get the feeling I'm walking in on something? Am I? No. No. You here because of that note Allison sent to Vicky threatening her? Yeah, Vicky told me all about that. And if Allison Perkins sent her that note... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait. If Allison Perkins sent her that note, she sent her the note. I mean, who else would it be? I'm on it, okay? You don't have to worry about anything. Well, I think I do, Bo. This woman is threatening my wife from prison. I'm gonna call the ward to make sure she doesn't do anything like that again. That's not good enough. I gotta know that my wife is safe. Vicky is safe, and she will continue to be safe. I'm not about to let anything happen to Vicky. What the hell was that look? What look? Just now, that look. You guys aren't planning on doing something without me knowing, are you? No, no, no. That's then what was it? Um, there was a <clears throat> call from the clinic. They have an what? emergency, and they need you there. Did they say what it was? No, I'm afraid they didn't know. Damn. Okay, would you stay with her until I come back, please? Yeah, yeah, I have a few things that I'd like to talk to Vicky about. Right. You know, Bo, I'm holding you to this. No more threatening notes better come to this house. Yeah? She already won you over. Oh, I'm a biggest fan. Well, you know, I might give you a little run for your money on that one. I'm a proud brother. You know, something like that. Mm -hmm. mm. She's very sweet. Yes, yeah, she is. Mm -hmm. And smart. Mm -hmm. Well, the smart part runs in the family. Oh, is that right? That's right. <laughs> I mean, I was smart enough to fall in love with you, right? Oh, I didn't realize that that was a sign of intelligence. Well, it is only when the feelings are mutual. They are. Good. Because, you know, otherwise it would be a pretty stupid move on my part. You know, a mere mortal like myself. Oh, I love the Greek goddess like you. <laughs> we can't have that now, can we? No, no, we definitely can't have that. Uh, what time did you say Emily was coming back? Oh, I think the official tour is a little more than an hour. An hour, you say? A little more than. A little more than an what hour. What do you think we should do for the whole hour? Oh, yeah, I'm not sure, but, uh, I'm sure we can think of something. I don't get it. I thought it'd be free. Free? You've got to be kidding me. It was free the last time. I thought we had this all worked out. So did I. I really need the money. And I don't? $200 is a lot of money to me. I can't just throw it away on something I don't really need. Look, just forget it. Wait a second. You can't back out now. It's way too late for me to find anybody else. That's not my problem. I'm not paying you $200. <laughs> Do I look like that much of a sucker? Okay. Fine. 150. No way. And I don't really care if you if you find someone else or not. A deal's a deal. Look, 
This is not some deal to me. This is my education. Your education? What the hell are you talking about? What is... Uh... I just hope now you boys have not forgotten anything. I want tonight to be perfect. Hey, so what's going on here? What the hell do you think? Uh, well, it looks like they're getting ready for a romantic dinner for two. Well, what do you know, sweetheart? You're a lot smarter than you look. Oh. Throw this on. What for? Bo's gonna need his privacy tonight, and you need to skedaddle. Well, not in that, I don't. And furthermore, you can't just come barging in here with your staff and kick me out of my own home. Wrong. This is Bo's home. You are nothing but an unwelcome guest. For your information, Bo has asked me to stay as his roommate. Really? I don't think he wants you around tonight. Oh, Here. Please. It's ten bucks. Go see a movie. I am not going anywhere. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm not dressed to go see a movie. Who the hell is going to look at you anyway? Oh, hey, sir. I had plans to spend a nice, quiet evening at home, in my home that I share with Bo as his roommate. Oh. Do you want to be the third wheel on Bo's date? Be my guest. But I don't think Bo and his lady friend, who are dining here tonight, are going to appreciate it. You are really something else, the way you are meddling in his private life like this. Better me than you. You think I'm interested in Bo? Look, you may be under his roof, but you're not getting under his sheets. Asa, I'm not interested in Bo. <sighs> and for your information, I, I, I'd be more than happy for Bo to go out on a date. <laughs> so you say. Yes. Yes, I do say. Why, you don't believe me? No. Because you are a thief and a liar. And I'm damn sure there's more going on here than you're willing to admit. What was that kiss about, Vicky? What were you thinking? Uh, 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 you, you what? I thought you were Ben. You thought I was Ben? Yeah, that sounds strange. It, that, yeah, it sounds strange. You just kissed me. Vicky, you, don't tell me that you thought I was Ben. This makes no sense. No, no, I know it doesn't. I don't expect it to. It doesn't even make any sense to me. Then please, please tell me something that does. You've been so kind and compassionate and caring with me, you know. Well, yes, because I'm your friend. And, and I'm very grateful for that, really. But well, then why would you... Well, I guess you just reminded me of Ben, the way he was when we first met, you know, and... And I missed that part of him so terribly. And, and I looked at you, and I, I saw that little bit of Ben in you, and, and I just reacted without thinking, and it just felt so right. But not to me. Not to me. I tell you, I, that, that was weird. That was weird. It, to me, it felt wrong. You know, I'm sorry, but... I'm so embarrassed. Vicki, you know... There could never be anything between us. Oh, I know that. Oh, gracious, and I certainly never intended that. I'm, I'm so horrified by what I did. I don't think I can ever look you in the face again. No, 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 come on. No, Vicky, look at me. No. Please, come on. No. Hey, we've got to talk about this. No, there's really nothing to say because you're one of my dearest friends and, and I threw myself at you. Vicky, I'm not mad about what just happened because you explained why and the bottom line is I'm still your friend no matter what do you really mean that yes I do oh. Vicky you know I do love you but it you know it's not in a you know a romantic way <clears throat> of course not I know that and that's the way I feel about you I I would hate hate to lose your friendship over this. You won't. I promise. So, um, do you think we could just sort of forget that this ever happened? No. No, I, I don't think we can. So which one was it? Ben or Dave? Well, I know Ben, so at first, of course, I, I thought it was him, but then he sort of started acting strange. Strange how? Well, 
First of all, he kept insisting that I call him Dave. What else? And then he started speaking in this simple way, and I didn't know what to make of it, so I just went with it. Why was he here? Well, he said he wanted to see you. Really? What did he want? I don't know. He didn't say. I don't think he wanted me to know. Don't you know why he wanted to see you? Mm, no. Uh, unless... Uh, no. That couldn't possibly be it. C couldn't possibly be what? Well, I mean, if, if something went wrong, you know, and, and, and he turned into Dave for real. I mean, Dave was the nicest guy to me. He was the only person who understood me. We would have had a wonderful life together. We would have been very happy. And you should be happy. You deserve to be happy, Allison. But he told me that would never happen. Which means you really are lying to me. No, I am not You're lying. You're trying to trick me. You're trying to fool with me just like everybody else. It's all a big lie, isn't it? Admit it! So you're saying you don't think we can get past this? No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. But I don't think uh, I can ignore it and just pretend that it never happened. Vicki, I think you need some help. Oh, and you don't think that you can help me anymore? Is that what you're saying? No, no. What I'm saying is you need somebody else to talk to other than me. Now, you're under a lot of stress lately, and I don't think you, you can really handle it. Yeah, well... It's very, very, very difficult, I'll grant you that. But don't worry, I'll figure it out. I'll be fine. Look, I'm glad you decided to uh, do something about the problems you're having in your marriage. But if you really do intend to leave Ben, you got to know it's not going to be easy. I mean, I have to do this. I cannot go on living my life like this, you know? I agree, but... He's having trouble dealing with anger right now. It's only going to get worse when you tell him you're leaving. Well, what choice do I have? Well, that's where the other person, someone to talk to, comes in. Oh, Bo. What other person could I possibly have to talk to other than you? A professional. You need counseling, Vicki. You know, you're past the point where you can deal with all of this stress all by yourself. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, you're right. I'll get counseling. I've been so horribly stubborn about it, but you're right. I'll call Ray in the morning and make an appointment. All right. And I do want you to know that what happened here a while ago, that doesn't change anything. Because we're still friends, okay? We always will be. Thanks. That means so much to me. Yeah, it means the world to me, too. You know, and you can always call me if you ever want to just talk. Because I'm still here for you. I'm so grateful. Oh, I better get going. Okay. Thank you, Bo. Sure. Thanks for a big, fat nothing. Allison, it's true. Dave was here, and he asked for you. Did anyone else see him? Sorry, but you got to get out of here. Just come a few more seconds. No, I can't. If they find out I let you in here, I'm out of a job. No, just me. I don't believe you. What? Dave was just in the visiting room, and you were the only person who saw him. No, he was here in the cell block. All oh, right, Dave was in the cell block. Right, he just strolled on in without anybody stopping him. You know what? You are a dumb blonde because that is impossible. He was standing right there. I don't think so. Maybe he came through the tunnels that you were talking to me about. And how would Dave know about those tunnels? I don't know, but I would not lie to you about Dave. Good, because that would be a stupid idea. I thought you were going to be happy about this. I would be happy if it were true. I have ways of finding things out. And if I find out you're playing me in any way at all... Hey, Allie! Yeah, girl. I was able to work out some extra time for you in the yard. How's about some fresh air? Okay. I have 
got to get out of here. Uh, thank you, boys. Make yourself scarce, please. Oh, no, woman. You're still here. Shoo, shoo, uh, beat it. Not until I convince you that I am just as much for Beau having this date as you are. I'd be very happy if you could find someone that would make him happy. And I don't care who it is, as long as it's not you. That will never happen under any circumstance whatsoever. Please, don't give me this innocent routine, Gabrielle. I know how you operate. Asa, I have no romantic interest in Beau whatsoever, none. And besides, he wouldn't look at someone like me in a million years. You're damn straight. My boy is smart enough to see through the likes of you. Yes, he is. And besides, we're so completely different. It would never work. Well, good. Then you'll stay out of the way here tonight. Yes, I will, Asa. But you've got to know that what you're doing here, it's all wrong. I mean, he's never going to fall for a prearranged blind date. Well, we'll see, won't we? I'll tell you what. I'm going to call up Renee at the palace, and you have dinner there while Bo is getting acquainted with his new girlfriend. You're going about this all wrong. Dinner's on me. Oh, if, if you feel that this girl is so perfect for Beau, then tell him, and then he can make a decision whether he wants to date her or not. If you like, I could help with the introductions, if you want. Oh, Beau knows about the date. He said yes to me in person. He did. So, if you want to help, stay out of his way. What man could resist the beautiful young filly when she comes with all of those trappings? Yes, trappings being the operative word here. All right, do it your way. Asa, do it your way. It's not going to work, but do it your way. I will go and get changed, and I'll make myself scarce. I'm a basket case like Bo does, in which case that'll be much worse because then he'll act like the worried husband and be all over me and I will never, ever get rid of him. I gotta get out there and find out what those idiots are up to before they screw everything up. Bo told me what's going on. I think it's time you and I had a talk. Just forget about it, okay? No, 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 no. I, I don't want to forget about it. Your education. Are, are you serious? I would love to have your major. Did you get credits for going on spring break, too? Excuse me, but I'm not asking for a free ride. You could have fooled but me. But I'm not about to give you money that I'll need for books and living expenses. I'm not a Rockefeller. Neither am I. I'm about to be out 200 bucks. Well, that's just too bad. Give me a break. Why are your parents if you're that hard up? You know, get a real job. Okay, fine. You know what? You win, Alexandra. You win, okay? I'll take a bath on I'm this one. I'm not Alexandra. What are you talking about? You're not Alexandra Bonomo? My name's Emily. Emily McIver. Did Alexandra send you? I... I, I don't even know an Alexandra. Does that mean you're not here to give me a tour of the campus? G give you a what? No, no. Oh, I, I'm really sorry. I, I thought you were going to be my mentor. Be your what? Are you Emily? I'm Hermie. I'm your mentor. Dangerous messing with Allison. She is nuts. She's so insane. She doesn't even want to get out of here. If I could just convince her that Dave wants her back. How am I going to do that when Dave is really Ben and Ben hates Allison? Wait a minute. I have a really great idea. Oh, Lindsay girl, you are brilliant. Yes. 
boat hold you? Yeah, he did. And I gotta tell you, I don't understand why you turned to him and not me. I mean, you know how that feels to hear something like that from someone else? I, I can't even believe he did that. I mean, he had no right to do that. He promised me he wouldn't. Well, I'm glad he did. I mean, how can you expect Bo to keep that from me? I'm your husband. Yes, uh, that's right, I guess. Well, it's time for the truth to come out, all right? No more pretending, because I know what's going on now. You do? Well, of course. I mean, you're so freaked out over Allison and her threats that you don't know if you're coming or going. Bo even talked about how stressed you were. Uh, yes, you know, I mean, I, I guess I couldn't hide it from him very well. He's known me for so long. And he wasn't surprised at all when I told him that there was not a call from the clinic. Really? Why didn't you tell me how you were feeling? I, I didn't want to worry you. I'm your husband. That's part of the deal. You know what I think we should do? What? We should call up Ray and try to get you an appointment for tomorrow morning. No, not Ray. Well, come on. She helped you once. Maybe she can help you again. No, I don't want to talk to Ray. I really don't. Okay, you know what? This is not making any sense no, to me. No, it doesn't because it's not about you. It's about me and, and about my failure to be a good mother to Natalie. And if I talk to Ray, it'll just remind her, me, of all of that. But things again. are getting out of hand, Vicky. I mean, you told me I had a call from the clinic when there wasn't one. Yeah, there was one. no call from the clinic. I made it up. You what? I was so afraid you were going to tell Bo that you had been to confront Allison. And I thought you were going to get yourself into terrible trouble because you know how Bo feels about people taking the law into their own hands. This is unbelievable. You have some psycho stalking you and you're worried about protecting me? Well, yes, I mean... God, no wonder I love you so much. More and more every day. Oh, and that's how I feel too, you know that. You know what, Allison Perkins can do what she wants. Because nothing and no one is ever going to come between us, I, I swear. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know you'd be so, you know, pretty. <laughs> Say her, old buddy. Pal, um, could you give us a minute? We, we just got to finish something up. Um, thanks. So, this is the part where you apologize profusely? <laughs> On my hands and knees, with tears in my eyes. Look, this has obviously been some sort of misunderstanding. You think? My guess is you're not here to buy concert tickets. And my guess is you don't give tours of the campus. No wonder you thought 200 bucks was a bit steep. No wonder you were so bummed. You thought I was trying to back out on your deal. So, um, that's Stud Hermie. He's your appointed tour guide, huh? <laughs> Looks that way. I figured since I'm taking some courses here, I might as well know where I'm going. Well, uh, my guess is Hermie doesn't really, you know, leave the chem lab. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'll I tell you what, if, if you got some time tomorrow, I can take you around. You know, show you the rest of the place where all, like, the really cool stuff happens. I mean, only if you got time. You do that? Uh, yes, I would. And I'll only charge you 25 bucks for it. <laughs> How can you say no? I love making love to you. Wonderful. I just feel really connected to you when we make love. It's like you're sharing everything with me. Like there's not one ounce of your body or mind or heart or soul that you're holding back. Nora. Mm -hmm. Dear Allison, 
I came to see you today, but you weren't there. I miss you, and they won't let me visit you when I want. I wish you weren't in that dumb prison. I wish things were like they were when you were in St. Anne's and I could see you all the time. I think about you. A lot. warm bath. Oh. What do you say? Go upstairs and draw one for Boy, you. That sounds good. Okay, good. I think Lois even bought new loofahs. <laughs> right back. Man, this is like so over the top. How devoted can you be? Go away. And who knew Bo was going to be so righteous? He's gonna be like no help at all getting me out of this marriage. Ben, with all this lovey-dovey stuff, it is making Vicky stronger. And I won't have it. I will not let her take over again. Because the world needs me. I need me. Ben, with all this concern and his kindness, is gonna wind up killing me. Hey, if he's gonna kill me, I'm just gonna have to kill him first. Well, now, 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 now. Isn't that simple? I'll just kill him. <laughs> 